the video's not about that. The video's about them um, replacing our radio. Now, I f we follow several people on YouTube. Uh, the Expos, Tread the Globe, and John and Mandy on tour. I put links for those at the bottom of this video because if you're watching this, watch them. They are good, much better than I am, but they, are, they really are good. But uh, John and Mandy fitted a new Android radio, and I thought, well, hold on. It's better than the one I got. It's got a built-in sat-nav. It's got uh, several apps for, um, for, like, for finding campsites. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna fit that, and this is where I've started. We've got this magic bus going now, right? <laughs> Every day I get the shoe I'm magic bus I'm magic bus So what I've done, I've uh, put these little radio removers in so that pulls the uh, radio out and when it's out Got to disconnect all the cables from behind and then put this new one in. This is the new one. There's not a lot to it actually. So that's the new radio. That's the back of it. Connect to some of the cables. I've got uh, this little loom off one of the internet sites. They reckon I need this. So the next job is to get that out and fit it. So there's the back of the radio. I've got to keep that. That's the aerial connection. And some of those cables there I have to keep. But which ones, I don't know. So I think we'll make a start. <laughs> right, this is the old GPS cable. Uh, that was connected at the front of the van there. Right, I've, just, I've taken it out because there's no end on it. I think when they uh, decommissioned the van, they must have cut it. So I've got a new GPS to go in there, aerial, to go in there, um, and then wire up, a temporary wire up the new radio to see if it works, because there's, there's two plastic sections in here that have to be cut out. Then we have to work out how we're going to fit the new system in. Because that's all they've given me is these two metal sliders. Right, the first failure of the day is, I was told those two connectors should connect to the van. I've discovered there's only one double block. So I think it's back to the internet to find the correct one. I think I mentioned before, I'd bought the uh, Kenwood connectors, that's this bit, this bit here, connects to the back of the radio, and should in theory connect to this plug inside the, uh, inside the dashboard. No, it doesn't. Peugeot and their wisdom have got a different connector. So I then went out and had to buy these cables. They come with a little kit from... Car Medio. And that provides the connection between the Kenwood, the radio, the Kenwood cables, and the Peugeot wiring. Right, here we are so far. We're starting to put the apps onto the, uh, onto the Android. Good old Planet Rock, Around Me, Park for Night, 
search for sites or RTL2, which I quite like listening to. For some reason, the um, the cameras are working, so I have to check that out. But the next thing to do now is take this frame out. There's a plastic connector that side, and that side will have to be cut off. And then build the new frame to go in. The uh, the new radio is in. It wasn't too bad getting it in, but uh, I learned a few things. Pass them on to you all. Uh, the radio is great. I will go through that now. Uh, I had to put in additional cabling from the uh, back of the van to the radio to get the camera to work, because I didn't use the camera that came with the radio. I bought a bespoke camera just for this van. There are a lot of people on the YouTube will tell you to use the uh, Kenwood uh, wiring loom to connect the radio to the to the van itself. Well, it's, yes, it does fit the back of the radio, but it doesn't have the additional cables for the review camera. Also, it doesn't fit directly to the van. You have to then buy another cable another bit of loom that connects from the van to the Kenwood. Because Peugeot, instead of using two 12 or 16 connectors, use one 24 connector. Uh, and the other two won't fit into it. So, you know, we learned a few lessons. And by learning that, I can pass it on and you can all get a, do it easier next time. So that's the radio working. Um, I won't actually put the radio on because um, I'll get done again copyright but the radio is there that's the radio back nav now nav i've got um i've got the system that came with it which is this one you yep that seems pretty good that's all working seems pretty good next one then i've got Google Maps, I go navigation. So I got two navigation systems in here. Plus I got Google Maps. For round and about, I've got this one, which is uh, search for sites. That's what's around me. Some I didn't know about. If I press this one here by Ebervale. Right, that's come up the Castle Inn. Um, Castle Inn. At Blainer Gwent, a motorhome pub stopover. What else I got there? Oh, there's there's loads of them here. That's my area. Exit. Yes. Okay, music. Right. There's only two on there at the moment. That's local music. That is actually. The two USB connectors. I don't think there's anything on them at the moment. I've taken them off. Let's have a look. No media. Media feeder. No, I've taken them off. I'll put them back in the car. So I've ordered two, uh, two new card readers for that. That's music. Phone. I haven't connected my phone up because that really annoys me. But I'll get there. Radio, I've done internet, so we got Chrome, YouTube, Park for Night. I don't know what that one is, but I can't remember. But uh, YouTube, there's YouTube, Gal Sylvia's Magic Bus. So, this is the uh, Magic Bus site, so if I get boring and watch my own videos, actually I watch anybody's videos, but I like mine. So that's it, Magic Bus, D-Day, 70th anniversary, God, it's two years ago. 
Let's make that a bit bigger. Where's our bay? And here we are at last. Where oh, we? there we are. It's a place called Gammon. Mont Gammon. Gammon on the Mount. Mont that sounds like a pig on Mont, sets. Mont Gammon, which is... <laughs> which is where? Mont Gammon. Le, le, hey, du Puy. I'll take you with you. You also got apps on there. Oh, what happened then? Got loads of apps, including that one there, a gamma car. That's the one that gives you all the extra skin for the radio. Um, loads of other stuff. So it's, it's really good. The next thing to do now is going to be uh, upgrading. The speakers. Now that should be fun. That means taking this trim off because the tweeter is behind there. Taking that panel off there because that's where the main speaker is. Um, do that for do that for both sides. Well, that's to improve the sound quality. And I'll put a link on down below again for where I get the speakers from. And uh, I have to be fair, if you buy bespoke speakers, like the speakers I bought the Jess for, Peugeot Boxer Vans, the Cit Citroen version, who else makes them? Citroen, Peugeot, something else. Fiat. Ho oh, ho, the Fiat version. Um, they're bloody expensive, but I think it's worth it for the better quality speakers. Today's job is going to be replacing the speakers. Uh, to do that, this has got to come out for the tweeter. And of course, like I said, the, the, the panel in the door comes out for the main speaker. So here we go. So that's the that's the tweeter. That's the new tweeter. It's supposed to be better. Right, that's the old one. And that's the new one. They're supposed to be a straight exchange. Which is not going to happen.
Oh well, that's the first part. The next part is going to be the main speaker in the door. And that's it. Well, that's the first part anyway. Right, that's the that's the old speaker. This is the new uh, Eaton speaker. It's supposed to be a straight replacement. Which it is. However, as you can see, that's straight bare metal. So the next job is put some deadening felt in there. So this is the uh, sound deadening felt. Well, it's not felt, is it? Material, which I have to stick in there. So I've uh, stuck in against the far side of the door and on the side where the speaker goes. For some reason, they also use double-sided tape, thicker tape around uh, the frame where the speaker goes. That's supposed to keep the noise down as well. I've put tape around, I've got to tape the speaker and then when it's ready to fit in, peel off the back, put it in. So that's the, uh, the back of the speaker then. So that's it, that's uh, the near side then, got to do the um, off side, but uh, I have to go have my dinner first, otherwise she's going to get really weird, so I'll shout in. So, see you soon. Uh, magic bus! <laughs> yeah, I forget the words, sing the words! Sing the words! It's a magic bus! Hey! Magic bus! Oh! Oh! Magic bus! Oh! Oh! Every day I get in the queue. Get on the bus that gets me to you.